this is Dave. Uh, today we're going to be working with a pillow paint of Glidden Essentials Eggshell. My pouring medium is Vaspar Ultra and Ferrothane Polyacrylic Triple Thick. Colors are listed here and also down in the description below with the instructions of how I mix those. Next up is my cell activators. The blue mix and the titanium white is mixed with the Australian Pearl Top to paint at a 4 to 1 ratio. Next up is my pillow paint. Again, this is the Glitten Essentials uh, in eggshell. You just put a puddle down and spread it out. My first color is this little piggy ore. It's a beautiful light gold and shimmer to it that is just unbelievable. It's actually my favorite of all the available golds. Next up is a paint by Golden. This is Nico Azo Gold. It doesn't have any shimmer, but boy, is it a nice color. Next color is TLP Horizon. It's a beautiful orange with a gold undertone. Next color is Golden Peach by This Little Piggy. And Golden Peach is just exactly what it sounds like. It's a, it's a peachy pink with a gold undertone. Now I'm going to turn my canvas around and start to build the dark side or what I consider the water side of this piece. Next up is a blue interference and a blue sparkle together. It's from the Color Art Bling It uh, series of uh, pigments. And next is the TLP Blue Eyes. My next paint is 2021 Beach Retreat Shimmer. That's a porridge posse paint. Another porridge posse paint is Masquerade Shimmer. Next up is This Little Piggy's Nebula, a deep blue pigment with a beautiful shimmer. Now that all of our paints are down on the canvas, it's time to move to our cell activators. I'm starting out with the dark cell activator on the back of my swiping tool. Add a little bit of white to the top. Both of these cell activators are mixed with four parts Australian Floetrol to one part paint. And we'll start at the bottom and sweep up. Now I'll clean off my swiping tool, reload the back of the tool with white on the bottom and the dark on top. Okay, that's just about done. I'm going to flip the canvas around and I'm going to start in the middle and swipe down.
I picked up a tool to try to spread out the excess cell activator from the bottom of the dark blue section. Picked up my straw to see if I could blow up some of the uh, paint and have uh, the colors pop through, get some cell action going. Tilt the paint just a little bit here, see if I can walk it further down the canvas. And back to where it started. Do that so that the cells don't get wonky. I'm blowing a little bit more to see if I can get some of the bottom colors to pop through. I think with that, we're ready to spin. Spinning allows uh, the cells that are there to open up. It also allows you to get the excess paint off because if you don't get enough paint off, the drying process can be, well, tricky. To ask you if you have any questions or have anything you want me to cover, please take the time and leave that down in the comments section. I do read everything and I respond to any questions. So please do. I think you're really close to being done here. Time for the flyover. I'm really loving the cells on this piece. The dark blue cell activator and the white uh, cell activator both played very well to nicely together. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Uh, if so, please give a like, subscribe, and ring the bell for future notifications of videos that I'll do. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see done in the future. Thanks for stopping by. Bye now.